it should have two functions so let's let's write some functions here definition we're defining two functions here okay that might be anything uh, a and uh, b so semicolon is used to you know have one or more commands or it mean it might be also useful to separate the commands or to end the statement right from there okay so we are ending the statement here and we are using the written command x plus y okay so just in case if you're wondering what return for command is it terminates the execution of value to you know to exit and hold a value to its corner because we want to add other functions so we are exiting and we also getting back when we need it okay so that's how and we also need to define uh, addition as well you know that one is addition and subs subtract subtract we're gonna use a comma b as it oh it's a bit mystic okay a comma b Sub subtract okay we shouldn't even do we should commit any mistake subtract we shouldn't commit any mistake guys even the small mistake can can be a problem uh, written uh, why I have written X plus Y actually it should come a plus B okay here it should be a minus B again we need to define the function here define multiply define multiply same goes here a comma b followed by semicolon and uh, written uh, written as a star b and again we need to define the function which this time we need to uh, define what else divide okay define divide mm -hmm. what? something it's very you know very annoying is because I have to type literally again and again again and again so return this is a bit of boring right here but please bear with me divided by b so right now oh we are totally into it you know actually we have added you know two functions and uh, with the four four operations here okay now we need to print the operations basically that's what we have to do now because these are the possible conditions that's going to print okay without having this it's very difficult and actually I need to use because uh, in, in print we basically use strings uh, and spring should enclose brackets okay and printing okay what have we given over there okay first one basically add okay and that went close in brackets okay again I'm going to print what's going on here subtract make sure that the spellings are uh, pretty same because it doesn't allow if spelling goes wrong so here addition actually it's a multiply multiply Um, 
what I have to do right now. Divide, I guess. Okay, divide. Um, now we have added uh, all the possibles, possibilities of operations. Now what else we have? Now we have to take the input from users. So basically we need to take input. So let's take choice equals to we need to give input for example if user select something then we need to give input if user it's, it's a it's a user who chooses the options okay whether they want to do addition multiplication or something like that okay closed in brackets because I just want to end it here uh, I just want to if, if I put semicolon there is no way of you know going program to some, somewhere else so which is why so this was a choice that I have taken now now number number one what did what does it represent number one in sense Okay, input, uh, okay, I'm not seeing, uh, enter plus number, enter plus number, that should be closed in, in the brackets, or suffice. stuff is just hold on guys I need to go to bathroom and I'll do that Okay, I'm back now. Um, I just went to some refreshment a little. I was feeling quite dizzy, so that's the reason why. Uh, where were we? Actually, yeah, uh, number one. Uh, we need to give the input to the first user, okay? Um, I think we have given here. Okay. Uh, okay. Input, enter the first number. Uh, which is enclosed in exclamation quotation marks uh, uh, did I make anything I, I, I guess I had missed something because the numbers were integers right so also here I need to use this one okay for number two because we are having two numbers same goes here input and right now I don't need this and the second number enter it's a bit clunky here need to separate the items don't need let it be okay I need, I need to enclose this uh, all right now I need to uh, leave some choices to the users like whatever they have to choose that being choose by themselves okay okay if choice if choice uh, if choice choice one Followed by semicolon, print, then number one. Okay, I guess print number one, maybe not sure. Number one or uh, number two, a bit of okay, maybe number one, number one, come on, close in quotation marks. You can also give single quotation marks, this isn't a big deal.
so why we use elif is because else which means if there if it has any possibility of doing other options if you use elif it sense if the above condition is not true then we can use elif condition Actually, did I miss anything here? It's a bit of annoying. Did I miss anything? Okay, let's go. Let's print now the numbers. <sighs> this program getting very problematic here. I think it was number number one. Uh, okay, now we need to use subtraction because we are printing else matters okay there's a possible things that we can it's supposed to be equal here a leaf choice equals to three because this is the third possible solution But one thing I can say is writing big programs is pain in ass because it looks very small. I have to, you know, find another app where I can zoom. Actually, so soon I'm going to change to other app. You know, this is very annoying. But anyhow, I'm going to complete program here. Print. Print number one. What is this minus and uh, plus minus maybe in two I guess. Okay, we are just adding operations, printing operations. Don't be so confused. And we are adding numbers too. That is x and y. We have only two values, right? And what not? All this it will be equals to because it needs to get back right and uh, I just forgot here comma because everything should be enclosed here there is no comma so Elif choice, Elif choice. Sorry, I just use single quotes here. Enable. No, I use print. Print. name one basically this time I'm going to use divide divide option that being said name two um, and as usual equals because it needs to get back okay mm, I think that's it we should end closed in bracket okay because we have started bracket right there right here let me show you here okay and followed by here okay I just don't want to make any anything changes right there and right we need to 
else else print if if none of these uh, would I mean if none of if people would follow none of these options then it should be like uh, something uh, it doesn't work valid is not invalid invalid response so that's how that's it so basically it should need to be in codes